Lesson 12.5, similar solids. So what solids are similar and why? Think about that for a second. We used to say similar uh, triangles. Just had, you know, it was like somebody pumped them up on steroids times two or, or times three or whatever. They had the same angles. So what are similar solids? Which ones are always similar? Well, one of them is a sphere. And another one is a cube. Not any prism. It's got to be a cube. And the reason they're similar is it only takes one dimension to define them. So for this, you could say the side equals 4, side equals 2, and you would say the scale factor is either 2 to 4 or 4 to 2. In my case, I'll just go with the bigger one, 2 to 1. Same thing over here. You could say the radius equals 8. Over here, the radius equals, and I'm just... Pulling numbers out of thin air, um, 12, and you'd say the scale factor is 12 over 8, also known as 3 over 2, or 2 thirds, depends which way you want to go. So what solids are sometimes similar? Well, that's easy. It's all the others. Which are prisms. Cylinders, pyramids, and cones. So determine the rules for similar solids. Uh, you probably guessed if you've done the similar shapes with area ratio and scale factor. Uh, but let's do it. Two cylinders. First has a radius of 6. Second has a radius of 8. First has a height of 9. Second has a height of... Well, I'm going to say they're similar. So 6 over 8 equals 9 over x. And we can cross multiply. Although I like to do this. This is times 3 halves. So multiply this by 3 halves. We get x equals 12. So that's the scale factor. 6 over 8, also known as 9 over 12, equals 3 over 4. So let's figure out the lateral area ratio. So the smaller one we had R equals 6 and H equals 9. Lateral area equals 9 times 12 pi, 108 pi. Total area equals 180 pi. And now for the big one. R equals 8. H equals 12. Lateral area equals 16 times 12. Times pi. 192 pi. 
total area equals 64 plus 64 plus 192. 320 pi. So now we got to figure out the ratios. We've just done the actual numbers. Uh, we're doing small to big because our scale factor is like that. 108 pi over 192 pi equals... This is wrong. Mistakes were made. Uh, I forgot to multiply by 2. No, I didn't. 2 pi r h. What about this one? 2 pi r h. Do I have the right numbers? 2 thirds? 2 thirds, yes. So 2 times 6 is 12 times 9. Good. Over here, 2 times 8 times 12, 192. Hmm. So let's see what's going on here. 108 divided by 12 is 9. 192 divided by 12 is 16. So it turns out I did it completely right, and I second-guessed myself for no particular reason. This was 320. So hopefully 9 sixteenths rings a bell when you see it compared to 3 fourths. And I'm sure the same would be for total area ratio. You can check it if you want. And then the volume. Volume small is... And volume big is three hundred and twenty four pi, and that would be divided by seven hundred sixty eight pi, and let's divide them both by. I think you can divide them both by 144. Nope. Well, let's get rid of the 12 first. 324 divided by 12. 27. 768 divided by 12. 64. Well, look at that. What's the relationship? 3 squared is 9, 3 to the third is 27, 4 squared is 16, 4 to the third is 64. So you've derived them yourself, or you can just flip the page over. It's all written down here. Ratio of corresponding perimeters, scale factor. What I call SF. Ratio of the Base areas, lateral areas, total areas, what I call the area ratio. AR. And then what I call the volume ratio. VR. So here's a couple problems. If you want to try them yourself, go right ahead. Pause recording, otherwise I will do it. So, I don't have to do the perimeter. It's just the same as the scale factor. And I'll go from big to small just for the fun of it. 5 over 3. Area ratio is going to be 25 over 9. Volume ratio is going to be 125 over 27. And we give you a little problem. Smaller prisms, 300. Don't know the larger prism. I wrote it backwards, which is fine. Fix it real quick. No, I, I wrote it right. 
125 over 27 equals x. Solve, and we get... about 1,389 units cubed. Tricky stuff, but not too bad. Always go down to the scale factor and then square up and cube up from there. Good luck.